while later, we're five-handed again as Ivy raises to 600 from the button. We look down at ace-10 offsuit in the small blind. We can call or three bet. I call to play a hand against my favorite poker player growing up. We're heads up out of position. The flop comes jack-10 deuce with two diamonds. We've got middle pair and some backdoor draws. Ivy just has queen high. I check. Ivy has a handful of chips. He bets 1200 as if it's pocket change. Phil Ivy going with the big bet here. In my head, I'm wondering if we call now, how much is Ivy going to make it on future streets? I'm envisioning Ivy bluff shoving on the river and being in a nightmare situation. Still, I try not to get too far ahead. There are plenty of cards that can help us on the turn. I call, hoping mostly for a 10 or a diamond. The dealer puts out the three of diamonds, giving us more ways to win the hand. I'm feeling much better picking up the draw with a blocker to the nuts. My mood changes as I contemplate Ivy betting the river, us missing our flush draw, then potentially bluff shoving. Again, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. I check. Ivy still has chips in hand, just evidently not enough. He reaches for more and fires another big bet, this time for 3500 with nothing but the 4 high flush draw. He's trying to push us around like he has with so many others for decades. We're not folding, and there's no real need for us to turn our hand into a bluff given that we have showdown value and can still improve to the nuts. I call to see the river. The dealer puts out another 3, we don't get there. I almost immediately check in a much more exaggerated way than I did on the previous streets. I'm hoping this will look suspicious to Ivy as if I'm feigning weakness, but really I have something strong. Basically, I'm trying to mimic recreational players who probably tried to check raise Ivy in a similar manner a million times with the absolute nuts. You see Ivy looking over to process how I'm moving. Maybe this gesture will make him concerned that we've got a monster so that he'll check back. I really don't want to see him bet something like 15,000 because that sizing will handcuff us and we won't even be able to bluff raise. We'd have to either hero call or fold. If Ivy bets anywhere around pod or less, there will be some room for us to bluff jam, repping either the ace high flush or a hand like tens full of threes which we have removal for, as well as aces, ace jack, and jack ten. Our emphatic check might just have accomplished our goal of freezing Ivy to allow us to get to showdown the least nerve wracking way possible. And that is probably not the most exciting river for Phil to bluff and he does check back really quickly so. Whether or not the way that we checked actually affected Ivy's decision, I guess we'll never know, but it definitely didn't hurt. We got the quick check back and a pot of $11,000 with second pair. It's a solid win that keeps the confidence high while playing against poker's elite. 